Hello, Brent here with NVMS Support. I'm just making this quick video to demonstrate how to resize your photos. I've been getting a lot of uh, complaints that you know your photos are not the correct size and you just need a quick way to resize them. Uh, I'll leave a link down in the description with the link to where you can download Faststone. And then here is the actual uh, product of Faststone and how to use it. So the first thing you'll know is on the left side of the screen is going to be the photos that you're going to want to select to resize. So here I have it opened up to where I want to resize my, my photos. You can click the triple dots to select anywhere on your computer um, or the resize. I'm, I just have this upload folder on my desktop that I always use uh, whenever I get photos and that I need to upload and resize. So we're just going to use that folder today to demonstrate how. So I have these group of full, uh, pictures. I'm going to want to do all of them. So all I'm going to do is hit add all. You can also select individually which ones you want to. And down here in the bottom right hand corner, you're going to see a preview so you can see exactly what the picture is. And it's not a total guess on which one you are resizing and add them individually as well. Once you've added them, they will appear on the right side of the screen. Once you're done adding all the photos that you are going to want to resize, you're going to come down here to the bottom right side of the screen. Uh, the first thing you'll need to know is where your, your uh, pictures are going to end up. You can turn this off and then it will just save over the original folder. And it'll delete your original pictures and resize them. I don't like to do that just in case. So I have an alternative folder here. And I just have it finished. It's also on my desktop. If you want to change that, you can hit the browse button and change the folder that it's in. Uh, but down here, where it says use advanced uh, options, this is where you're going to have resize as well as be able to uh, add a date stamp if you need that. Uh, a lot of the time, whenever you freshly download this application, this will not be checked and therefore they, there will not be a, advanced options here, which you're going to need to check that to get that to appear. Click on that and then you can change your size. For this order, I need my photos to be uh, this 1800 by 1200 so I'm gonna I'm gonna set those a lot of times this will automatically have preserved aspect ratio selected turn that off otherwise it's going to require the photos to be within the three to four aspect range and it won't resize properly so turn that off to get it to work properly and then if you need to add a date stamp you can also come over here, hit add text, and then just put whatever date you need up here. If you have a reddish photo, you can change the color by clicking here. And maybe change it to black or whatever color. I'm just going to leave it red because that's generally a good color. And then go ahead and put that there. I'm not going to add any text on this one, so I'm going to unselect that. As well as if you didn't want to resize and just wanted to add text, you could select this and unselect the resize. But I'm doing a resize this time, so we're just going to leave that be. And then we're going to hit OK. Once you're completely done, you're just going to hit the convert. The convert will go through and change all your pictures aspect ratios. And once it's done, it'll say 100% at the bottom, and you'll be able to go ahead go into your documents here. So here's the original. And then if we go to my desktop and then go to finished, you'll see that they have all been resized according to what I said. All right, and that's how you use Faststone to resize your photos.